Assalamu alaikum very good morning grade 5 in food and nutrition we will do exercise question number 1 and 3 all living things need food except plants because plants can make their own food by photosynthesis so we need macronutrients what are macronutrients which should be in a healthy plate they are carbohydrates proteins and fats the sources you know very well and you should know that vitamins are also very important there is a variety of vitamins which we need in small amount we need minerals fiber water etc you should know assalamu alaikum and very good morning grade 5 today is 18 jan and we have to study food and nutrition bismillah rahman rahim so we all know that being being animals and humans, all animals and humans need food. Food is of seven types. Food is of seven types. Okay. Number one is carbohydrates. Okay. Food, first group is carbohydrates. Second group is proteins. Third group is fats and oils. Fourth group is vitamins. Fifth group is minerals. Sixth group is fiber. And seventh group is water. Okay. So we have studied them very um, very uh, briefly or you can say uh, in detail as well with the pictures to, uh, only only the diseases are left which are caused by the deficiency deficiency means when you're not getting that type of thing and your body becomes short of that thing short of that food so that is called deficiency deficiency means shortage and many things which are depending on that vitamin are affected by that. So we are going to study at page number 46 what are the deficiency diseases, diet related diseases. As we have studied that there are seven food groups. So if any of the food group we are not taking in our daily diet, we will face some problems. The diseases caused by deficiency of nutrition nutrients such as carbohydrate proteins fats vitamin and minerals in the human diet are called nutritional diseases are called nutritional diseases or nutrition deficiency disease lack of proteins cause severe form of malnutrition malnutrition lack of that food okay the the patient or the person who is affected from kavishiko disease is not given protein so caused by a deficiency in dietary protein marasmus is a disease caused by a severe deficiency of protein and calories that affect infants and very young children are often resulting in weight loss and dehydration this is marasmus this uh, this kid is affecting from a disease and that disease name is marasmus lack of lack of protein in diet okay okay now lack of carbohydrates not enough carbohydrates can lead to low blood group uh, blood sugar you know that each and every cell needs sugar all the time for oxygen for respiration and for doing all the work our whole body is made of cells if we will not take proper carbohydrates our blood sugar will will low will low down drop down if you don't have enough glucose energy for carbohydrates to burn your body will start burning fat which is called ketosis you know some some uh, some of the diet conscious people start keto diet start keto diet that is quickly burning fat of your body so vitamin lack of vitamin okay lack of carbohydrate leads to what leads to what a disease very thin and very low glucose disease okay now lack of vitamins b12 deficiency can cause lack of vitamin most important vitamin is vitamin B12. Deficiency can cause many diseases like anemia. Anemia is a blood disease. Okay, that is caused by vitamin B deficiency. Then is vitamin C. Vitamin C defic deficiency can lead to scurvy. Remember it in mind because it will be asked in your question answers as well. Okay, signs of scurvy, signs and symptoms of this rare disease include bleeding under the skin and around the germs. Scurvy is shown in this diagram. This diagram it was of marasmus and this diagram is of scurvy. Now, lack of minerals. Symptoms of potassium deficiency include muscle cramping, you feel fatigue, weakness, other symptoms, your constipation, you, you, you don't go to washroom daily, you feel some 
uh, constipation, bloating, and abdominal pain is caused by paralysis of intestines. Okay, so intestines are disturbed by the deficiency of potassium. Severe potassium deficiency can cause paralysis of the muscles or irregular heart rhythms that may lead to death. So, in minerals, potassium is very important. Then. Iron deficiency anemia is a common type of anemia, a condition in which blood lacks adequately adequate healthy red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen to the blood body tissue. Okay, eyesight is also disturbed if you are not taking vitamin A properly. Okay, the diagram is here. Okay, there are different bone abnormalities which are caused by low intake of calcium and phosphate. Phosphate. So you should take proper calcium as well. That's why we say that we should take mineral water because mineral water has uh, five important minerals in them. That's why they are um, they are meeting our daily routine requirements of minerals as well. The active form of vitamin D is synthesized by skin cells when exposed to sunlight. That's why you need to go to sunlight as well. You should uh, you should sit under sunlight for at least half an hour daily or for just ten ten minutes daily uh, in winter you can increase uh, this duration and in summer you don't need to because it's very hot in summer no need to get that too much okay these are very important points what is diet diet is what a person or animal you really eat so drinks nutrients are materials that living things need to live and grow you know that our nutrients are seven groups carbohydrate is a substance formed by plants and is rich in energy okay what are carbohydrates mainly giving us they are giving us energy okay Second group is protein. Protein is called bodybuilding group. Protein is called bodybuilding group. Okay. Third is fat is a soft, greasy substance found in some food and is rich in energy. It brings a lot of taste in our diet. Okay. Then is vitamins. Vitamins group is food group here. Vitamins are very important. Vitamins are the substances substances that we require in little amounts to stay healthy. Then is fifth group that is minerals. Okay, minerals. Balanced diet. Minerals are the are the elements are the uh, are the uh, which are required by our body and their amount is very important like for our blood here it is told that what is balanced diet you know that very well balanced diet is a diet that contains proper amounts of all nutrients you have to learn this these do you know of page number 47 then is food pyramid you have made food pyramid uh, 3d model as well last week you have made the um, uh, healthy plate as well food pyramid is a map that shows a balanced diet deficiency of any food uh, group causes diseases that we have studied just uh, in this lecture okay now we will solve our question answers and exercise our question number one our exercise of page number 48 question number one is saying write true or false write t for true and f for false statement vitamin b is important for our digestive system it is true t okay milk does not contain fats it is false milk contain fats okay iron is an important part of our blood it is true okay that's why I say that minerals are important. Then proteins keep the blood in circulation. That is false. What thing keeps the blood in circulation? Water. Okay, fiber play important role in digestion of food. It is true. Because fiber help the proper passage, proper flow of digestive system, digestive waste from our digestive system and intestines. Now, guided questions. Question number two. Part A is name the seven groups of food that are needed to stay healthy. These are to be done in your notebooks. So take out your notebooks. I have made this ready for you. The answers. Take out your notebooks and. Okay, question number A is name the seven food groups that are needed to stay healthy. Write neatly with blue marker or blue pointer and start writing the answer. The food that we eat can be divided into different groups. There are seven main types of groups. Number one is carbohydrate, number two is protein, number three is fats and oils, number four is minerals, number fifth is vitamin, number six is fiber, number seven is water. Now. Question number B is what are the sources and function of carbohydrates and proteins? So I have written for you carbohydrates. Give the heading and underline it carbohydrates then start writing. Carbohydrates are the most important sources of energy for the body. Foods that contain carbohydrates are potatoes, bread, cereals, rice, sugar, honey, 
porridge and pasta there should be a gap between porridge and pasta okay now give the second heading proteins proteins are body building food that are part of every cell in our body they are also needed to repair damaged parts of the body foods that contain proteins are meat fish chicken eggs beans pulses nuts milk and yogurt etc question number a is also done question number b is also done now we will do question number c write the statement write a short note on fats and oils so answer is fats are stored around delicate organ of our body as a layer of isolation under the skin it protects organs and keep us warm fat produces twice as much energy per gram as carbohydrate so it gives us twice energy as carbohydrate gives okay we need more fats in winter season actually we should not take too much fats we should take healthy fats okay in winter we need more fats foods that contain oils and minerals are butter margarine cooking oil or banaspati ghee nuts and milk etc three questions are done now there is a mistake in your book Page number forty-eight is just showing three questions, but the D part is at page number forty-nine. D part is written here. Define balanced diet, and then E part is also written at page number forty-nine. Okay, there is a mistake, but don't worry. I have written all the question answers here in this page. Okay, don't worry. Now, question number D is define balanced diet. You all know these things. We have studied all these things with the pictures the last week. This is just your revision. So answer is a diet that contains proper amount of carbohydrate, fats, proteins, and minerals, vitamins, water, and fiber is called a balanced diet. Question number A is name and explain two diseases caused by the deficiency of any two vitamins. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause these and other health problems before it leads to anemia. Okay, and Second thing is asked, what is the disease name for vitamin C? Vitamin C deficiency can lead to scurvy. Scurvy is a gum disease. We have studied in detail. Now, at page number forty-eight, they have asked question number three: color the picture. Directions: They have told this is a plate. Eating the proper food in proper amount is one way of staying healthy. Color the dot next to each food to show the group to which it belongs. Now they are saying use red color for fruits. and they are saying that use orange color for grains use green color for vegetables use purple color for proteins and use uh, sky blue color for dairy products so i'm solving it for you okay students we have colored it now i will tell you that for fruits orange and banana you have to make it red color for vegetables there are two vegetables only it is carrot and brinjal okay for proteins they for grains they are saying use orange color so grains are cereal here only so we have done here orange color they are saying that for proteins use purple color so sausages purple chicken purple milk is also a uh, milk is a food that is meeting uh, that is uh, meeting the requirement of many groups milk is actually having many carbohydrates having many proteins so you can also color it purple or sky blue right dairy products are only here bread and cheese is protein group as well as fats group okay that's enough for today we have done exercise question number 1 2 and 3 i'm showing you the picture as well here that what we have done okay a closer look so that you can take a screenshot after pausing your video Thank you for watching this video Allah Hafiz